Students t test for unpaired or independent or unrelated two samples in STATA. t test is a parametric test that is performed when there are two groups of data or two samples and the data in both samples are normally distributed and continuous. There are certain assumptions that have to be fulfilled before conducting or performing the t-test. The first assumption is that the data should be continuous and normally distributed. The second assumption is that the variance are, or variances are equal for both uh, groups or approximately um, uh, equal for both groups. And the test is used to find out whether there is a significant difference between the two groups based on their means. Here in the STATA data view, I had inserted a data for a hundred participant there are two variables the first one is the six which is categorical and it have two values in it or two levels or two categories uh, males and females and uh, another variable which is the height of the participant measured in centimeters so the height is the dependent variable and the grouping or the sex is the independent variable and the data has been checked for normal distribution to find out whether there is a difference between the height uh, for males and females then the unpaired t-test will be performed as here we have two groups or set of data that are independent or unrelated and separate to do the statistical test here in the command section type t and then test space and insert the dependent variable which is the height so type height then comma and then space and then by open a bracket and type six and close the bracket so this is the standard command for doing unpaired t-test for the dependent variable which is the height uh, grouped by the independent variable which is the gender and if you click on enter a table is generated as shown here for the two sample t-test with equal variances as I had checked the two uh, groups and there is approximately equal variances and from the table as shown here the observation for or the number of cases for male and females are 50 and there are two groups here male and females and the mean for the height for the females are 160.8 Four, and for males is 169.4 so males have a higher um, height or they are taller compared to females from this initial observation but yet it is whether it is significant or not we will check it with the p-value and also the standard error is given for the male group and the female group and the standard deviation is 
9.3 for the females and 10.5 for the males. Confident or confidence interval for the mean for the females and the males are given here and the mean for the females is 160.4 which is uh, fall within the uh, upper and uh, uh, lower uh, values for the confident interval for the female and for the male which is 169.40 again it is within the upper and lower uh, confidence interval or 95 percent confidence interval so this also add another layer of confirming that our observation is um, genuine and when we look at the row here which is the difference between the males and the females uh, when we uh, find the difference uh, um, between males and females it is minus nine so here the mean for the females uh, sub minus the mean for the males so the males mean is subtracted from the females mean and it is minus nine uh, it is minus nine because the mean for the females is lower than the means for the males and uh, a confident interval 95 percent confidence interval is generated and minus nine is falling between the two um, uh, values here the upper and the lower so this uh, confirm that there is a difference between the tallness of males compared to females and the males are taller than females or the females are shorter than the males and this observation is statistically significant as confirmed by the 95% confident interval and if we look here it says the difference which is the mean for the females minus the mean for the males and the statistical t-test unpaired t-test is equal to minus 4.5 and the degree of freedom is 98 and the hypothesis that has been sat here is that the null hypothesis states that the difference between the means for the females and males is equal to zero i.e that the means for both are similar the alternative hypothesis here in our case will stick with the alternative hypothesis is that the difference is not equal to zero i.e there is a difference in the mean for females and males so we will look at the uh, p-value here which is less than 0.05 so there is a significant this is a significant value and shows that uh, the difference between the tallness uh, for males and females uh, is statistically significant as the p-value is less than 0.05 so this is the way to do un paired t test for two groups that are uh, independent in stata